Hello friends, I'm Mike Birmingham and welcome to Program, episode or webisode 30 of this series for 2021. This week we come to the final miscellany for this year and on this edition we look back at some of the best bits from the last 42 editions. That's 29 from this year of 2021 and a 13 from 2020 and also a little look behind the scenes. On the first webisode I did on the 18th of April 2020, the miscellany looked like this. It's all about keeping the lines of communication open. So that was then and this is now. We look now to some standout moments from the series and first to episode three from this year. And Swinging 60s, a great time for music and fashion. But what was dating advice like here in Ireland? Back to the 1960s now as we hear some dating advice from the era. Now, firstly, you go along and give yourself a very good washing and uh, dickying up and you give yourself a proper shave. Now there's no point in shaving part of the face and leaving the rest. You go ahead and you shave the whole lot off. Now usually sportswear we get a trend of beige, brown and such colours going through it. Now here's our soup plate and we eat our soup with the spoon. Now you all know the soup spoon. It is a round spoon of this nature, usually this size and you just carry on you tilt the soup plate away from you until you have the soup eaten. You know, funny enough, a lot of those things that were said then very much still apply today. Next to episode five, also from this year, an Irish housing brochure from the past. Back to 1974 now, and a housing brochure for Pinebrook in Malahide Road in Dublin. These houses were built by Abbey Construction at the time. Their strapline was the style of living to suit you. And they offered Dubliners a wide variety of lifestyle, location and house price. The 70s styling is super distinctive and very much on trend for the time. Thanks to David Pash on Facebook for the brochure. Now to 2020 in episode 10, where we look at some classic Irish adverts courtesy of the Irish Film Institute. I must give the Irish Film Institute a hearty well done, as they have in recent years diligently restored almost 8,000 rolls of 35mm film to do with television advertisements made in the 1960s, 70s and 80s. These films had been held in a number of damp warehouses for decades and as a result of poor storage conditions had suffered physical deterioration and contracted mould infestation also before being transferred to the IFI or Irish Film Archive in the mid-1990s. Now it was there at the archive that their team began the earnest and serious work through a combination of painstaking processes to bring the film back to life. That included frame by frame assessment, extensive physical and indeed chemical conservation, followed by scanning and digital restoration. The project was supported by a grant from the archiving funding scheme and resulted in the creation of a substantial Irish TV advertising archive of leading brands such as Jacobs Biscuits, Air Linkus, Cadbury, Caller, um, ESB and many, many more. The IFI have said that these films offer a unique window into Irish society and consumer habits over the course of three decades. They tell us a lot about the community they were made for, as well as the era they were made in, reflecting an Ireland of yesteryear with very different social mores, standards, dress sense and race. Fascinating on many levels, they can be enjoyed from a nostalgic, historical, social or cultural point of view. So over 200 adverts are available right now to view for free on the IFI Player. You can check it out, find it online at ifiplayer.ie forward slash adverts. Some classic examples now that you can see. Always carry a box of Irish matches. You never know when you'll need them. <laughs> When 
you add up the real cost of motoring, you'll discover that mainline rail is miles cheaper. Great to see those again. Episode 5 from 2020 and it's Charlie Chaplin issuing some wise words. Now, thanks to Facebook user Tommy Steele, who sent me this from the great Charlie Chaplin. Words of wisdom. Charlie Chaplin lived for 88 years. He left us four statements. One, nothing is forever in this world, even our problems. Two, I love to walk in the rain because no one can see my tears. Three, the most lost day in life is the day we don't laugh. Four, six of the best doctors in the world. Sun, rest, exercise, diet, self-respect, and friends. Keep them all in all stages of your life and enjoy a healthy life. If you see the moon, you see the beauty of God. If you see the sun, you see the power of God. If you see a mirror, you see but God's best creation. So believe it, we are all tourists. God is our travel agent who has already defined our routes, bookings and directions. Enjoy him, entrust him and enjoy life. Life is a journey, so live today. Tomorrow may not be. Great words from Charlie Chaplin. December 2020, episode 12 now, and it's Einstein's desk. Back in time for a vintage photograph now. This is a picture of a desk. It's covered in documents, papers, letters, magazines and notes. Also visible, a pipe, a tobacco jar and a jar of ink. Obviously an old picture, perhaps that of a teacher or academic or scientist. In fact, what we're looking at here is a photograph taken of Albert Einstein's desk on the day following his death. The picture tells us a number of things that Einstein wasn't expecting to pass away. He was obviously still greatly immersed in his work and projects. It's a testament to one of the great minds of his time or any time. Who knows what other discoveries he could have made had he lived on. From the 19th of March 2021, that's episode 12. On this edition, we look back at an Irish kids TV classic. Question of the week. What is Ireland's most famous kids TV show? For the answer to this, we have to go back in time. If you ask anybody in their mid-40s onwards, the answer that will most probably come back will be that of Wanderley Wagon. Created by Eugene Lambert, who passed away in 2010, it first aired in 1967, with further series running until 1982. Memorable puppet characters included Crow, Foxy, Sneaky Snake, Mice, Squirrels, and the ever-faithful dog Judge. Human characters included O'Brien, played by the show's creator Eugene Lambert, Grandma, played by Nora O'Mahony, Forty Coats, who was later to get his own spin-off show. He was played by Bill Goulding at first, and later by Fran Dempsey. Not to forget the dreaded Dr. Astro, played by the late Frank Kelly. The caravan itself was reminiscent of the type used by Ireland's travelling community up to the 1970s and would travel to all kinds of places, including um, folklore and mythological places like Tirnanog, because it possessed magical powers that could make it fly and travel through time. They were also part of Ireland's Safe Cross Code initiative in the 1970s, and I remember wearing this badge as a kid. The, they even released a vinyl record at one time featuring such songs as It's a Dog's Life, I'm Foxy, Sweet Shop Rock and the theme tune. By 1982 it was the end of the road for this much loved show and despite protests it was unfortunately not to return. The Lambert Puppet Theatre can be found on Facebook so drop by their page when you have some time and perhaps leave a message regarding your memories of the show. It was such a part of our youth back then. Now RTE released two DVDs back many years back which are out of print unfortunately I'm lucky to have these myself bought them at the time but some copies I believe are still circulating on Amazon and eBay however it would be great to see the RTE player dedicate a section to fondly remember shows like Wanderley Wagon episode 6 from this year 20th century bus and rail artwork 
Back in time now for some beautiful images and artwork used in promotional posters by CIE, Great Southern Railways, Anchor Line and Irish International Airways. These posters were used in the early to mid decades of the last century, being rich in colour and seeming to offer a rose tinted view of an Ireland which is always sunny and in bloom, depicting an idyllic image of the fledgling state. With picturesque coastlines, landscapes and buildings, the style of advertising was eventually to give way to photographic pictures owing to the advent of television in later years. A marvellous collection of these posters are available to view from the National Museum. Uh, their website in particular, museum.ie forward slash country life. Now, uh, episode 10, which was the 5th of March this year, we see the People of Lisbon web series. This is a video series by Irishman Stephen O'Regan with the help of photographer Rita Ansom showcasing the lives of people from various countries with different occupations who are now living in Lisbon. Their video collection is now being seen on Tap Air Portugal flights as part of their entertainment service. Stephen went to film school in New York when he was younger and had ambitions to become a proper filmmaker after that. He produced a notable short movie called They're Made Out of Meat, starring stand-up comedian Ben Bailey and X-Files star Tom Noonan. Here's a clip. They're made out of meat. Meat? There's no doubt about it. We picked up several from different parts of the planet, took them aboard our recon vessels and probed them all the way through. They are completely meat. It's impossible. They're made out of meat. It is on YouTube. Later, Stephen was to move into the online world of the startup after he created a music website called Balcony TV. Every day would film bands. He would on his apartment a balcony in Dublin. Uh, this led to balconies all across the world joining in on the project and Balcony TV itself lasted an incredible 12 years, which is a long time in the world of online video. Well, Rita Ansom, she is a lady who graduated with a diploma in photography back in 2008 in Riga, Latvia, joining forces with Stephen to pursue this latest project, People of Lisbon. Stephen has said that Lisbon is always a city that surprises and feels that this is a part of the magic that attracts travellers to settle there. Just like Balcony TV, perhaps this series will become international with people editions from New York, London, Paris, Dublin and more locations. We wish them both well in their video series and all their work is available to view on YouTube where to this time they have made 20 videos, seven of which are in Portuguese and are featuring people from Lisbon. And now to Video Video. And episode 15 from April of this year. On this edition, I took a journey back in time to look at some forgotten movie gems. To Broth of a Boy Now from 1959, an Irish comedy film directed by George Pollock, starring Barry Fitzgerald, Harry Brogan and June Thorburn and an adaptation of the play The Big Birthday by Hugh Leonard. Whilst holidaying in Ireland, a TV producer played by Tony Wright comes across a village celebrating the birthday of the oldest man in the world, Patrick Farrell, played by the great Barry Fitzgerald. Thinking Farrell's 110th birthday would make a great subject and an ideal subject for a forthcoming BBC documentary, the producer seeks to persuade him to agree to be filmed. But he's not as easy to get along as it seems. Have you heard there's a man come from London searching for you to put you on television? And why shouldn't he? I mean, they're the oldest man in the world. Well, I've heard tell there's some old boyo in Turkey that has the beating of you. Ah, that fella's an imposter. Father Carey had him investigated, and I beat him by a month or two. And I want to tell you this here and now. If he cares to come here to Valley Morrissey, I'll take him on a jumping, swimming, leaping, and eat a bash in likes. Finally, it's New Year's Eve 2020. Many things can go wrong with the creative process from sound and video to equipment malfunction. Here's one scene that didn't make the final cut.
It seems funny now, but it wasn't at the time. Well, the sole purpose of the miscellany was, and is, to act as a counterpoint to the daily diet of misery that COVID has wrought on our lives since March last in 2020. So I've been attempting to beat the COVID blues by presenting a relatively light-hearted series of web videos during the darker days of the pandemic. And now as life begins to slowly return to some semblance of normality, I feel the time it's come for it to reach a natural end for this year anyway. I'm often asked where the idea came from and I'm in my 50s now but in my youth I would watch shows such as Magpie, Blue Peter, Young Lion, Joe Maxi, Swap Shop and others. They were aimed at kids of course and teenagers and I wondered then was there anything like that on the web for adults like myself and so I went looking and looking but I didn't really find anything akin to what I was seeking so I then thought maybe try and produce something myself. I had done a film and TV course back in 2017 under the expert tutelage of Mr Shane Crossan, this is the guy with the beard in the photograph of our class from 2017. So to put some of that training to work and develop out an idea and the darker days of the lockdowns proved to be fertile grounds for thinking. As each week passed, I'd gather bits and pieces and I thought I could string them together in a video format that would make for viewing and a small 10 minute video. It's always tricky when you're trying a new endeavor and you're not sure how it will be received or whether it will be received well. To that end, I appreciate the likes, shares and views and wish you every good thing for the year 2021 and ahead. The miscellany will return, but until then, Bye for now.